Hi, welcome to chapter two of the uh, automatic grip cord. Remember, this is the automatic grip cord, so if you pull the handle, it pulls the pins. If you pull the pins, it pulls the handle. Now, let's see what it does automatic. It fires, it pulls. One more time, we'll try that. Okay, that's the handle out of my hand. How do we do it? Here's how we do it. We use a bicycle inflator. This is a CO2 16 gram bicycle inflator available at Walmart, $14.95. We had to make an adapter, which is a quarter 28 thread versus a Schrader valve thread to fit in here. Normally this device, well, let's talk a little bit about how this device is created. In here we have a cylinder. That cylinder comes from the same cylinder that used to be used for a cutter. This is a cutter. The cutter has on the end of it a squib. That's a little pyrotechnic, it has a wire normally. This one is dead, we pull the wire off, and we unscrewed the squib. So let's put the squib aside and pretend we put this in here. Now, we had to put a gas port on the side, and that's what this gooseneck is. It's a gas port. The next thing we did was we took a ripcord cable and we put it through the cylinder like that, okay? And then we took, put a ball swedge on it, that's a permanent part, just like you have on the end of your ripcord. And we took the ball swedge and we ground it down to be the size of the inside diameter of the cylinder. We welded it on the gas port, and by the way, this gas port can port that, point that way or that way. And we took the squib and we put it back in. Well, this squib is the wrong thread, uh, thread, thread size, so we made a squib that was the correct thread size. Okay, this squib is a short wire because we're just using it for testing. Normally it'd be about an 18 inch wire. It has a plug on the end of it, which is compatible with a Vigil. That's a 3.5 millimeter stereo phone jack. We made an adapter that plugs into an Argus, an M8 jack, which is a female that we bought at Radio Shack. Plugs in quite nicely and has pretty good resistance to pull, but in the, in the field, that's not a problem. If you have a Cypress, you have to use a Cypress adapter. It has a Cypress plug on one end. Again, the 3.5 millimeter female. Plug it in. Plug that into your Cypress and you're good to go. Uh, okay, one more point we want to talk about tonight is installation. In order to install this device, you have to... Uh, first, we would take the squib back out because it's dangling and it's getting our way. What it is is basically a housing replacement. You pull the old ripcord housing out and you have to put this in in place of it. Well, the first thing you have to do to do that is you have to remove the ripcord. There have been some conversation we've heard about people not thinking this device has a ripcord stop. Well, like I say, the first thing you have to do is remove the ripcord. Watch closely. Ripcord removed. 